Well, everybody, I can probably say I'm upset. I was earlier, but I'm not anymore. I literally had to drive 30 minutes away from my home to get to a Joann's that have the up-to-date patterns in stock and i mean literally i have two joann's that's both 10 minutes away from my home but hey you do what you gotta do in this sewing community so i'm gonna go in here and get me some patterns you guys what i love most about this experience right now which to me is worth the drive that i will most likely be taken from here on out as you can see i am the only person in the area i have been standing here and i mean literally no one has come through here to look at any patterns at the other stores closer to my house i would have been bombarded uh just trying to work around other ladies which you know is not a problem because we're all doing the same thing but you guys this is amazing i am just enjoying myself just listening to the music and going through patterns i have missed out everything is so organized here and just it's it's just amazing so just thought i'd share that with you real quick well hello hello everybody martika here with my first pattern haul of 2024. You guys know I had taken a break from buying patterns because I have so many that I have not cut into. And so uh, not only have I been narrowing down my pattern stash uh, from things that I know that I'm not gonna sew up or things that I don't particularly care for anymore, um, but I just kind of put a halt to the buying. So I am here to share with you my McCall's and Know Me haul. Um, I did not get any Berta patterns by the time I finished going through the McCall's book. I was pretty much tired and uh, I've never sewn up a, Bert, a Berta pattern before and I didn't really feel up to doing nothing new right now. So <laughs> I just kind of left those to the wayside and got back on the, on the uh, highway. So uh, thank you for joining my channel if this is your first time and welcome back if you are coming back and you guys I have like 14 patterns here to show you so go ahead grab you something to drink and sit back and get ready for this haul so the first one I'm going to show you my know me patterns first the first one that I grabbed was know me 2052 and you guys, I love this pattern by Nikki, also known as Beauty Jador. Her patterns are just always on point, you guys. And I have actually been wanting this top right here. I have been wanting this pattern for the longest. And that is one that I have been waiting <laughs> to, on these uh, Joann's close to me to get. But they never, you know, came up with them. Let me move a little bit closer here so you can see. I love the, the hang of this uh, top, the way that it hangs. I love how she, um, how she tucks it in in the front and it shows you how it looks tucked in. Uh, I love the sleeves. It looked like there's maybe like four buttons on the uh, cuff of the sleeve there. I just think that is absolutely adorable. And let's talk about these capris right here, okay? jeans capris whatever you call i call them capris because they are uh short uh pants you guys sure wish i knew where she got those shoes from because i like those too but i am loving like the um patchwork look that is on the front and the back of these capris you guys i'm making those okay so this whole pattern is a winner in my book i did get size 8 through 16 uh due to my bust and hip measurement and um, when you look back here at the line drawings, you can really see the detail of those jeans, okay, or those capris. You can really see them. Let me move them up closer so that you can see. Is that not cute or what? I am really excited about making those. So this is like a high-low top. And I, I just really just love the whole look of this. So the suggested fabrics on this one is cotton blends, linen blends. Um, that is for a and b so uh you can don't have to do denim you can do uh th those uh, other blends too in that 
Um, a, you can also do like a Batiste, Chambray, Cotton Lawn, Gauze, Gingham, and even Poplin. Uh, B, you can also do that in uh, Chino, Denim, Micro Suede, and even Stretch Wovens and Twills. So um, B actually does also need a liner. So for the lining, you can do like a cotton blend, polyester blends, and you do need some interfacing for uh, those, for, for this um, top. Okay, so yeah, that's the first one that I picked up. The next one I picked up is uh, by Kichi B Style, and this is um, Nomi 2054. And you guys, I really, I, I like those pants, okay? I love these cargo-like pants that you can uh, dress up. I love that that effect of it. Now, I'm still kind of on the fence about the, the, the hoodie, uh, mainly about those sleeves for me. It is very cute on her, but for me, I'm not sure. So it may be something I might have to try just to see how I like it, but it is definitely very, very different. But I do like the pants. I like the crop via diagonal um, across the front here. And then I do like the uh, two pockets uh, on the front on each leg for the cargo pants. And then you also have two on the back. Now, for me, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if I would put those two on the back for myself, but I do definitely like the front. So for this, you can see the line drawings there for this pattern. And the uh, suggested fabrics for A for the top is fleece, ponte, sweatshirt fleece, terry knit. And then for B is chambray, chino, cotton blends, linen blends. And then you do need interfacing for this pattern. The next pattern I got, I just thought this was so cute when she came out with it, is uh, by Brittany J. Jones, and this is uh, Know Me 2063. I am in love with this wide leg jumpsuit. It, this is so cute, y'all. And not only that, the shorts, the, uh, the jumper that you can make with the shorts, okay? This is just cute, just all the way around. I love the fit of this. I just, I mean, it's just... It's like a classic, it reminds me of. And I could just see this being worn in all different types of prints. I can see it being worn uh, with casual shoes or dress up shoes. I love how she put this with the shorts with some wedges. I love, love, love it. Um, I did get size 10 through 18 due to the bust, waist, and hip measurements on that. Um, for this one, I was more so. Um, looking at the pants, so of course the hip, but for the top, if I do decide to do it on this one, um, I went with the 10. But if you turn around, turn it around, you can see the line drawings on this. This is just so freaking cute. I'm telling you, it's so cute. And the suggested fabrics on this is chambray, cotton blends, linen blends, and lightweight uh, fusible interfacing is needed for this. Um, now, also, I have not been mentioning the notions. Let me go ahead and mention that for this. Uh, the notions that's needed for this is a, a nine inch zipper. And then you also need a couple of buttons for this pattern and also elastic. Okay. So that's that. And then the next uh, pattern that I grabbed was another Nikki pattern by Beauty Beauty Jador. <laughs> Beauty Jador and it is Know Me 2070. And um, you guys, this trench coat is just everything. I am loving it. Not only am I loving hers, I am loving the little girl trench coat. So cute. I have a niece that I think that that would look really, really cute on. But so many, so many different colors you could do this in. I love the classic colors of the trench that she did do these in. I just think it's absolutely amazing. You got the vented back here. You got the belt. Just so stinking cute, you guys. And then if you turn it over, you can see the line drawings for these. You do have both sizes in this pattern. And the suggested fabrics is cotton blends, lightweight wool blends, linen blends, nylon, and twill. Uh, it does need a lining, so you would need a cotton blend or a polyester blends for the lining and definitely interfacing. Um, for notions for the little girl's coat, you need like 13 3 4 inch buttons and one belt buckle. Uh, without a prong and um, with a one and a half inch opening. And then for the misses, you need 13 one inch buttons 
one belt buckle without a prong and a two with a two inch opening. So that is what you need for this pattern. That is all of the Nomi patterns. So let's move on and get into this McCall's haul. So the first one I grabbed, I am going to show you these in the order of the numbers that I got them because I did get some oldies but goodies, you guys. So the first one is McCall 7349. Um, I got a lot of knit patterns. And when I saw that this was a knit, I had to have it. I actually like the one that the model is wearing, View A. But I think that all of these, mo these uh, views are really cute with the sleeves or... Um, with the uh, more of a, a cap sleeve. I just think that there's really it's really cute But I love this in this print with the sleeveless look I think that that is going to be beautiful like for the spring and for the summer uh, Especially like if you're going to like a wedding, you know, I think that that would just really really be cute so I did get this in a um, 14 size 14 14 14 through 22 <laughs> and this is a chloe mccall's pattern and turning it over uh, i got this based on the bust measurements and the suggested fabrics is a medium weight uh moderate stretch knit such as jersey cotton knits interlock or novelty knits on this uh there are no notions needed on this you guys easy easy in my book especially when you need no notions i'm loving this already so yeah i'm <laughs> i got enough knit to be doing this one with so very very cute hopefully you can really really see what that looks like i'm loving it loving it so then the next one that I got is one that I have actually been trying to get for a while, but the two Joannes that's next to me, <laughs> that's close to me, guys, they never had this one in the drawer. And that is McCall 7565. And if you've been around for a while, you might say, girl, you've been trying to get that. I've been had that. Uh, they, they don't have them in the drawers in my store, okay? <laughs> so uh, going over to the other store, making that long drive. Um, I was able to find this and what caught my eye a long time ago with this pattern was this just free like um, shirt dress right here. I mean, just really cute for the summer. I like how she put that with those thick sole sandals. And then also uh, this, this one here is really cute too. So I just think that this is just a really cute, simple dress when you're talking about a shirt dress all the way around, very basic. You have uh, four different views you can choose from. I got it in a size six to 14. And that was due to the bust measurements. Um, this is a very roomy dress. Okay. So, uh, when I looked at the finished measurements, you guys, I will definitely be cutting a size six in this dress, which is the smallest size, uh, because there you don't have to worry about the waistline and all of that in this particular dress. All you have to worry about is the bust measurement. And as you can see, you got so much <laughs> ease in there that it's not even funny. So. The suggested fabrics is uh, cotton blends, cotton lawn, chambray, and crepe de chine. And look at this, y'all. You got pockets, baby. You got pockets. I'm loving it. So the notions that you do uh, need with this dress is you do need um, for A, B, and D, you need seven buttons. Okay, seven five eighth inch buttons. And um, for B, A and B, you need a half inch single fold bias tape. And then for C, uh, this one right here with the sleeves, you do need nine five eighth inch buttons. And I'm, I'm sure that is because there's buttons on the sleeves also. So yeah, finally got my hands on it. The next one I got was McCall's 8007. And you guys, I said that this year I am challenging myself to making myself some pants, some jeans, okay? I am challenging myself for this. And um, 
I like these. I like these uh, wide leg bell bottom looking jeans. This is a Remy McCall's pattern. And um, I got to looking through Instagram at those who have already made these pants. And you guys, they are just so cute on everybody. Just that classic kind of bell bottom look, but not too bellish, should I say. So I got size six uh, to 14 and that was due uh, more so like to, to the uh, hip measurement. I opened this pattern and there are many panels on the in this pattern. And you guys, I'm going to tell you, I had a hard time finding the sizes. So I just went with this particular one in hopes that I don't have to do too much grading up or grading down. So this is um, listed as easy. So that's a blessing within itself. <laughs> so suggested fabrics on this one is denim, twill, chino, and cotton blends. For the notions, you need one seven inch zipper, two hook and eye closures, and that's pretty much it. So I do have all of those things already on hand. So that is a plus when I decide to make this. The next one I got, I another one I have been wanting for a minute, just think it's so cute. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest with you, I really can't remember if I had grabbed this pattern. No, I didn't grab it because it's a newer, <laughs> it's it's in the upper number. So no, I hadn't grabbed it. Um, but it is McCall's 8054. And I got this because I love the look of this shirt. This is like a raglan sleeve. Um, like a hoodie shirt, or you could even do just the top with it. But I just, I think that the look with this is just so cute. The way these patterns and fabrics are mixed and matched, just so, so cute. So uh, yeah, I love this, this uh, jacket, the way that she is wearing this. This is a Charlie McCall's pattern. I got size small, uh, medium, large, and the suggested fabrics on this one is moderate stretch knit fabrics such as sweatshirt fleece, cotton knits, interlock fleece, knitted velour. And then if you want the contrast um, looks like for with C and with A, uh, you can even do like a faux leather suede with this look. Um, for the notions you will need, uh, for the misses, you'll need one and a half yards of approximately two inch lace flat trim, and that's for A. And uh, that's for the sleeve design there, if you remember seeing that right there, if you want to do that. Um, and then you also need for D, which is the one with the hood, you're going to need a 24-inch separating zipper, and that is the one that she is wearing right here. So one thing I have is plenty of zippers. So yeah, that's very, very, very cute. The next one, I have been kind of on the fence about this one for quite some time and I just kept not grabbing it and then kept wishing I had grabbed it. And then when I would go to grab it, of course, it wasn't in the drawer. So McCall's 8160. I just think that this dress is really cute, really simple. This is an Agnes McCall's pattern. You probably might have this. Uh, there is, it, it is a level one, a learn to sew. So it's a beginner friendly. Uh, you have a, even a top and some shorts to go with this one too. But I got this one for the dress. I like how this really simple looking dress was made to look, let me fix my lighting here, was made to look um, really, really um, dressy, you know, in, in that, so to speak. So it's all about the, the fabric, you guys, I'm telling you. And uh, just a second, let me fix my lighting in so that you guys can really see where I'm coming from here. All right. Hopefully that helps. So, nope, that didn't help me at all. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So in this, um, that is view B, this dress that I'm looking at. So um, for the suggested fabrics, first of all, I got this in a size. Uh, it comes in one package for a size extra small through double XL. So that's a plus there. Um, it is cotton flannel, cotton knits, and even cotton blends is the suggested fabrics. Uh, for view C and D, you are going to need elastic, one and one, and one fourth yards of one inch elastic for that if you decide to do the shorts or pants in this. I, they didn't even have pants on the front. So yeah, great, great pattern to have with definitely several suggests, several options there. The next one I got was 
McCall's 8434. You guys, I just think that this is just a gorgeous little dress. I really like that one right there, View B, uh, the shorter version. I, I also like the one that she's wearing, but I like the different looks, you know, of the solid, the shorter version. I like this look, you know, of the uh, print with the belt there. Um, I like her look. I like it with this clutch with the contrasting colors. And I just think that this dress is just really, really cute. And with the right accessories and shoes, this is one that you can just continue to wear time after time. I did get a size 12 through 20 in this due to the bust measurements. Um, however, in the hip measurements, this is all one piece. So there's no cutting in half. So I am going to have to really grade in for the hip measurement on this dress. So um, that's one thing to look at if you don't have this pattern and you're thinking about getting it. And um, let's see, the suggested fabrics are stretch knit only, such as cotton knits, interlock, ponte, rib knit. And then, uh, of course, they say to see the stretch gauge on there for this particular pattern. And then you are going to need some interfacing on this. Now, the notions that you're going to need for view A, the one that um, this shorter one here, view A, with the sleeves, you are going to need um, eight buttons, eight one-inch buttons. For view B, the one, the cute print one with the little belt, you are going to need 13 one-inch buttons and then um, five and three-eighths yards of piping, of one-fourth inch piping for that one. And then you are also going to need for view C, the one that the model was wearing, 11 one inch buttons. So yeah, uh, if you decide to sew this up, definitely pay very close attention to what you need because guys, it can make you or break you if you don't have enough of what you need for this one. So then the next pattern, I got two because I needed two different sizes in this uh, because this is cut into three pieces, as you can tell from the front. This is McCall's 8448, you guys. This is one of the patterns I drove all the way out there for. So I knew that this was on my list. And this is also the one that I called them to see if they had it in stock. So I love the color blocking of this one. I love the solid in this one, but I am in love with the directions, the different directions that these stripes are going. And I cannot wait to make this dress really, really soon. This is going to be so cute. And I got size 8 through 16 and also size 18 through 26 due to the having to grade in a part of this. I didn't want to take any guesses because we are dealing with different pattern pattern pieces on this. Um, this is an easy dress to sew. Um, the suggested fabrics, this is a knit, you guys, and it's for stretch knits only, such as cotton knits, interlock, jersey. And then uh, for C, you want the crosswise uh, stripe knits. So that is for, you know, if you're going to do the uh, C, you want to be paying very close attention to if you have enough fabric for doing that because you're going to have to be turning it every which way to get that look, which is gorgeous. So no notions needed for this, you guys. This is going to be such an easy pattern to sew up. No notions. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. Cannot wait. So then the next one I got is McCall's 8449. So, so cute. Very cute, like a summery spring type dress. I just think that it is very simple. You got a few buttons up front here. You got the cap sleeves. Um, you got a shorter version of it. And then you also got a version of it with long sleeves, you guys. So just different variations for this simple but very cute dress. You can even do it with or without the belt, the sash. I do like it with it. And I got size 8 through 16 in this particular pattern. And um, the suggested fabrics on this one is Chalice. Uh, Chalie cotton blends, linen, poplin, and then you need, do need interfacing. And for the notions for view B, which is the long sleeve, when you need two three-fourth inch buttons, and I'm sure that's for the cuffs on the sleeves. And then for view C, which is for um, 
the one that the model is wearing. For view C, you are going to need five 5 8 inch buttons. Very, very cute. And then the next one you are, I got was uh, eight, McCall's 8454. These are skorts, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. I used to wear the heck out of some skorts. I just thought that this was so cute. I don't know exactly when I'm going to sew it up, but I just think that this is adorable. I got a size 14 through 22 based on the bust and waist and hip measurements. And the suggested fabrics for this is cotton blends, crates, poplin, and stretch wovens. And for the interfacing, you do need a lightweight fusible interfacing. Uh, for the notions, you guys, there are quite a few notions on here that I'm not going to go through, but just know that you need like invisible zippers, D rings, a uh, swivel hook class. Uh, you're going to need elastic, just depending on which uh, view you are doing. I won't go through all of those, but I will say just pay attention to the view that you are going to sew up so that you know which one you do need. And uh, you might well say, well, what do you need a, a, a swivel hook for? Well, if you look very closely, she has one on her waist right there. Very, very cute. And then last but not least, I got McCall's 8456, this cute Capri, uh, Capri set. And then not only that, but it has pants. It has a, a long sleeve turtleneck. It has shorts. It just have, I mean, you get to see this solid set in a print to see how it would look. This whole shebang here is just really, really cute. And due to bust, waist, hip measurements, I got size 10 through 18. The suggested fabrics, again, is for stretch knits only, such as cotton knit, French terry, sweatshirt fleece. Um, and then for the notions on this one, really simple. You just need elastic, okay? So that's all you're going to need pretty much. And that depends on what view you are doing. And that's pretty much for um, the shorts and the uh, capris and the pants. So just pay attention to what you need those notions for once again. So you guys, this is my haul i mean my first haul of 2024 don't know when the next one is gonna be because i got enough to last me for quite a while um however of course in the other uh lines like butterick vogue um the, I, they do have some that i want so we'll see what i come up with when they come out and uh yeah i hope that i have uh helped you guys be able to pick some of the ones that you might have been wanting to pick up for quite some time and just encourage you to that you guys even if you have to make a drive to go and get what you want sometimes it's worth it just find the good you know in the situation and my good was the fact that i was able to shop in peace with no one around and um you know just kind of rest and relax you know and really enjoy the uh, experience of looking for these patterns so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not comment in the comment section and you guys thanks for watching i will see you in the next video have a great one bye bye